the Wind Energy Application Suite, of Automated Computing Machinery SL, ACMSL, includes the Wind Farm Simulator, a set of real-time simulators, tutorials and other didactic material, designed to reduce the time and costs, associated with the training of maintenance and operations personnel in wind farms. It consists of four real-time simulators, one for the control center of the wind farm, including the SCADA, and three additional simulators, specialized by families of wind turbines actually installed in wind farms. These simulators are assembled as a didactic unit. The first simulator presents the concepts related to the wind farm itself, its SCADA system, the electric substation, operative protocols, and the specific requirements placed by the electric grid and the weather forecast. The other three simulators deal with the three most installed families of wind turbines, starting with the model with squirrel cage generator, directly connected to the grid, and its variants, with fix and variable blades pitch, and single and dual speed versions. The second wind turbine simulator refers to the wind turbines that use the change of the rotor winding resistance of the generator, as part of the control mechanism of the drivetrain. The third wind turbine simulator refers to the so-called doubly fed induction generator wind turbine or fig this model is the most installed and most modern wind turbine it is a very complex production plant and to fully understand its working principles is convenient to understand the working principles of the former models These simulators are assembled as a didactic unit. Each simulator has a specific tutorial, and each tutorial is organized into three sections. The first one for explaining the subsystems and special components for that particular wind turbine family. The second section explains the details and differential aspects of the wind turbines in that family. And includes references to some industrial examples.
The third section, named Teaching Sessions, consists of a selected number of experiments that mimic real problems in real wind turbines. The students are guided in each of these experiments, which should be performed in the simulators, as they behave as virtual workbenches. The differential aspect of the wind farm simulator with respect to other training approaches is that it emphasizes the behavior of each of the subsystems, and of the wind turbine as an electricity production plant. You do not need an expert in the design of wind turbines to observe and understand the evolution of key signals when the wind turbine is working under several working conditions. Normal working conditions, that is, under specifications. Or exceptional working conditions, such as with very high winds. Or even when they have internal problems. In the next minutes, we will show the basics of the user interface and capabilities of these simulators. These user interfaces are carefully designed to facilitate the learning process, minimizing the complexity of the operations but maintaining full easy access to key variables. They are organized under the concept of synoptics, which is the classical name on SCADA nomenclature for forms. Synoptics are the graphical objects that present information about the state of the plant and contain graphical widgets used to operate it modifying the values of key internal variables. Let's analyze one of them, for example, the one with the tidal simulator for wind turbines with squirrel cage electric generator, directly connected to the grid. This simulator can be launched from the launcher form. Once in execution, it presents several forms and synoptics that pops up onto the screen. You can move each of them freely, just click on the caption in the usual way. First things first, how do you exit the simulator? Find the command synoptic, with a caption starting with executing. This synoptic is common to all simulators. Pressing the button leftmost button, labeled exit, you exit the simulator. Initially, this synoptic is located in the left top corner of the screen. Running the simulator is different from running the simulation, as you may need to stop it momentarily. For example for reading the tutorial. You control the execution with the second leftmost button in this synoptic. Initially it is labeled, Run. If you press it in this state, the simulation will start, and its label will change to, Stop. Pressing the same button while in the execution of the simulation, will effectively stop the execution, and its label will change to, Continue. Pressing the same button in this situation will resume execution. When the simulator is run, the tutorial appears on top of the remaining forms. The concept here is that the student should read the tutorial first, and then proceed to the simulation. Eventually, the student may need to check some particular aspect of one of the components of the wind turbines, or may go directly to select one of the teaching classes. The tutorial can be minimized, as usual, with the minus button in the caption, or deleted, with the X button. If deleted, it can be recovered later. In real life, you enter the wind farm field and you see the wind turbines. In the simulator, you have a view of the wind turbine you are going to operate, in the synoptic with the caption synoptic drive train. It is located initially in the upper half of the screen, near the left border. You may change the point of view just by clicking on the figure, and dragging the mouse while the left button is pressed. When you arrive at the tower of the wind turbine and open the door, you will be facing the main electrical panel. In the simulator you have a view of that panel in the electrical panel synoptic. Initially, in the lower right corner of the screen. In real life, you may need to climb up to the nacelle. In the simulator, you have an internal view of the nacelle. To access it, Go to the Synoptic Drive Train and, in the Views menu, select Nacelle Internal. This view presents the main nacelle components, that are described later. In real life, if you will need to operate the wind turbine. And for that, you must have access to its controller. The controller is the core of the wind turbine, and to operate with it, you must understand very well all the functionalities and capabilities it offers. Learning them, and getting acquainted with them is a key aspect of the training. In a typical control terminal, requires, itself, specific training. To reduce the learning effort for newcomers, we have generalized it with a synoptic with the caption, 
control terminal. It is initially located in the upper right corner. It contains the values of all the relevant internal signals of the wind turbine, and also the external signals. The controller takes into account these signals to implement the behavior of each of the subsystems in the wind turbine. There is a different control terminal for each type of wind turbine. The trainee should be able to change the working conditions of the wind turbine. The most important external variables are related to the wind, its speed and its direction. There is a specific synoptic to facilitate this operation, with caption, synoptic wind nacelle, it contains also two important views, one is for the actual orientation of the nacelle with reference to the wind direction. On it, it is easy to follow how the controller yaw the nacelle to upfront the wind. The second view shows the blade from its tip point looking. In this way, the trainee can easily observe the evolution of the pitch angle. The same synoptic presents the status of the yawing motors and the evolution of the wind vane signal. With these synoptics, the trainee has a handy way to observe key variables, both internal and external, and graphical widgets to modify some of them. But there are many more signals in the simulators. There is a simulator for each subsystem in the wind turbine, and each of them has its input and output signals, and several parameters too. Besides, the controller implements all the controlling algorithms to control these subsystems. And there are also parameters associated with them. to observe the values of sets of variables, and their evolution. The application has several predefined, strip recorders. This is a very convenient way to observe the influence between variables. There are sets of strip recorders, already prepared for observing the most common subsystems. And others can be defined easily. Also, there is a schematic view for the overall design of the simulator, as a large combination of simulators for the subsystems. With this framework, we have developed a number of laboratory classes, we call training classes in the tutorials, to guide the trainee in the observation of the evolution of real-life scenarios. The teaching sessions guide the student on the steps required for observing important operations. For example, the required settings so that the wind turbine starts the cut, in, operation, that ends connecting the generator to the grid and starting production. Or the reaction to the, stop, command. or to see what happens when the wind speed drops below above the threshold wind or jumps above it, which forces changing generators. Or when the wind speed grows above the maximum limits. Or the reaction to a leakage problem in the hydraulic circuit. Or when the pump in the hydraulic circuit lost pumping power. Or what is the loss due to energy not generated due to power cables untwisting? Or the influence of incrementing the moment of inertia, for example, due to ice on the blades? Or how the active power is controlled in rotor resistance controlled wind turbines? Or how is the response to wind guts of different strengths? Or how is the reaction to wind gust depending on the status of the pitch mechanism? Or how the drivetrain of one modern FIG wind turbine is used to store and release excess energy during wind gusts? Or how much is the demand placed on the power electronics back-to-back -back converters due to different changes in working conditions, including wind gusts, non-optimal pitch mechanism, etc.?